All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and I know some of you are still stuck at home, you can't get to the gym, but you do have some dumbbells, so, and even if you go to the gym, this is still gonna be a great workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dumbbell only bicep workout uh, today. So we're gonna pick, I don't know, four or five bicep exercises that you can do if you just have dumbbells. Again, even if you go to the gym, it's still a pretty wicked bicep workout, so. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a fully supinated bicep curl. Uh, so normally when you see people do curls, they kind of supinate as they go up, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. But I want you to do these fully supinated the whole time. So palms up. And what we're gonna do is eight full reps and then four half reps out of the bottom. Now these will burn, these will burn like fire. So we're gonna do, we're gonna start off our bicep workout with four sets of these. Okay, and now four half, two, three, and four. A couple quick things I wanted to mention was when you do the curls fully supinated, it's, they're much harder. So you won't be able to use as much weight as when you swing and you do a regular alternating dumbbell curl. So you'll have to lighten up, which as you know, if you watch my videos, I really prefer to go a little lighter on biceps and focus on um, just the burn, the pump, the feeling of the actual curl. The other thing is, is you can actually do these um, drag style. So you know how you hear about drag curls where you drag the barbell up your body? You can do the same thing here where you're dragging the dumbbell up. So we're going to do this last set like this. Three, four. eight and then we'll go back out in front for the four partials so four sets there um those are those will set starch off on fire all right now we're going to go to hammer curls i love hammer curls obviously trains the brachialis the muscle right here and the brachial radialis and uh, that brachialis, when it develops, it pushes your biceps and triceps out. It gives it a really nice wide look. You can do a, a hammer curl just like this with your elbows in tight. One version I like is I like to come kind of all the way up and then do a little bit of a slow negative on the way down. People would probably argue and say you lose tension and it all shifts to your front delt when you get to the top. But I, there's something about that peak contraction that I really like and then uh, lo slowly lowering it. So we're going to do three sets here. Now, I'm going to continue with the partials. So I'm going to do eight reps up. And then I'm going to stick my elbows in and do four partials. Just to continue the set past failure. So this is the last set. <clears throat> um, that style that I was showing you where you come all the way up will really put a lot of pressure on this part of your arm, that brachial radialis. I like that. That is a, it's what we call a manly muscle. When that thing gets real big, it's really impressive looking. Now, the third set, I'm gonna do more of a standard style though. So the first two sets, I came up, I lowered the weight slower, but this last set, our third round, it's going to be more of a standard version, followed by five extra partials at the bottom. All right, so now we're going to exercise number three. So it's a concentration curl. Now, once you get a lot of blood in your buys, I really like to do movements that stretch your buys. So normally that would be like a preacher curl, but I doubt most of you have a preacher bench at home. So what we're gonna do is just modify our form on a concentration curl. So normally, you know, you kind of sit and do this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create more stress on the lower bicep or more of a stretch, we're just going to lean over a little like this. Uh. 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 
Now, that just little lean may not look like much, but it makes it a lot harder. It puts a lot of stretch on the lower bicep. We're doing sets of 10. Three sets of this. Okay, by now your biceps should be really pumped, really pretty much fried, but we gotta finish them. Now, this is another exercise that's more for stretch. Uh, again, if you had an incline bench, we'd lay on that, but we don't, we're gonna say we don't. So all you have to do is really lean against the wall like this and put your feet out in front. And now you're putting that long head of your bicep in a really good stretch. So just like this. Good stretch on the way down. Mm. Oh, okay, five at the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> oh. If you can make three sets of those, do three sets. If your biceps are dead, just stick with two. One thing I do want to mention is we're doing all these sets of failure. Normally, you know, I don't like to do tons of sets of failure. I like to be more specific or more selective, I should say. But these aren't squats, deadlifts, bench presses. Doing those exercises to failure over and over, probably not a good idea. But something like this, some bicep curls, I mean, that shouldn't tax your nervous system. Um, so something like this, you can get away with doing going to failure. And again, we're using lighter weights, so we use impeccable form. So on this workout, I, I would rather see you go to failure on the exercises you're doing. So really, that's it. So give these four exercises a try. If you want to make it even harder, use a short rest break in between, like 45, 60 seconds. We used about a 60 second break today when we were making this video, and uh, it was really hard. So. Give it a shot, let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.